Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be doing some autopilot testing in the Model 3. We're on update 2020.24.6.4. <clears throat> That's a mouthful, but uh, we're gonna see if it can handle roundabouts or what it does in roundabouts and, and see how autopilot is progressing with the traffic light and stop sign control in addition to those side streets that have roundabouts. Please give this video a thumbs up so other people can find this video easier. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more content like this. So it's been a while since I've checked in on the traffic light and stop sign control and its ability to stop at stop signs. That one was pretty good. I think maybe that truck thought we weren't gonna stop though. And we'll go ahead and see how well it does with this T intersection. There is no stop sign here, of course but it often stops, or I should say it has always stopped here. Stops too early though. Really needs to be closer to that line so you can see the oncoming traffic, see if it's good to go. It really is doing well with the curves, it slows down nicely and takes the curves really comfortably past couple updates have been like that. And it's stopping very smoothly at most of the lights. So every day it seems to be getting better and better, which is definitely a good sign for the future full self-driving. All right, so here we are, the roundabout. I actually wanna go left. Let's see what it does here. It is stopping. I told it to continue going. And I would call that a fail. Let's turn around, give that uh, one more chance on the roundabout. It did stop the intersection, but when it went to proceed, it really didn't know where to go, it seemed like. I also did not see any indication that it recognized it as a roundabout. All right, here we are approaching it again. It stops, press the accelerator to go. cannot handle the roundabout. All right, let's try again from a different angle. It stops, there's another car. And it just says take over. All right, here we are. One last try at the traffic circle. In this case, it actually is indicating that it sees a traffic circle. So that's a good sign. It didn't show that on the other directions. It stops way far back. And here it goes. Just wanna go straight. No, and it just turns it all off. That might have been the only time that it actually recognized it as a traffic circle and realized that it could not handle it, but it did have the little icon for the traffic circle, so it was aware of it, which is a good sign, but it definitely cannot handle traffic circles yet. 
So hopefully it'll have the ability to do that in the near future. So that's it, just a quick test of traffic circles and software 2020.24.6.4. It uh, obviously cannot do traffic circles at this time, but I think we're getting closer. It can recognize that it's approaching a traffic circle versus just any old intersection. So that's a good sign. Hopefully in a future update, not too distant future, we will be able to uh, navigate traffic circles just like we do all other intersections at this point now. If it has a, a traffic light or a stop sign, it seems to handle it just fine. But the traffic circle with the yield, that is not uh, the case. Also, it'd be interesting to see how it's gonna do four-way stops and that sort of thing when we have other cars involved with those intersections.